what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking, let's see, today is Tuesday, February 11th, 2014. And you are looking at one of the latest saws that came down today. These are some of the pictures um, Dr. Uh, William sent this over again. I tell you what, he sends me over some good stuff. And uh, there's a couple things in this that that really caught my eye. It's from the Curiosity Rover. And I'm going to show you where to get it because I've got two pictures up here that uh, the approach to it, one's from the uh, fisheye lens, so you get kind of like that fisheye view of it, but, uh, but there's also some other stuff in here, but what looks to be some sort of little dwelling with maybe even an opening or something in it right here. Uh, we're going to look at it over here a little bit better as we got more closer to it. We can see it a little bit better. Now, there's also some other stuff here that we're going to take a look at. Now, let me show you where I got it from, and you don't have to, like I said, this is one of them right here. You don't have to type this stuff down. Just look in the description. I always leave the links so you won't have any issue finding it. And uh, the other one, I do believe, is right here. It's the one with the, the thing on top. Once again, if you just click down below in the description, I'm going to have it up there for you. And I thought that was kind of cool. And it looks like the rover drove directly by it. Um, let's get into Photoshop. I pulled into Photoshop. I haven't touched it yet. So you see it's just the same old picture it was. Um, now there's also some interesting stuff up here. And it's awfully dark, this version of it. But up here, there's some interesting things as well. So let's get at it. Um, good to be back. Thank you guys once again for all the condolences for my father. Uh, it just was overwhelming. I have such a great group of su subscribers, friends here. You know, I take it. I give you guys my personal life along with this stuff. And uh, like I said, if you don't like it, you can take it or leave it. <laughs> it's funny, some of the older videos that get the hate from people who are like, oh, man, just, just get to the thing and leave. Just get to the thing and leave. Look, I do it how I do it here, and I see what I see. You see what you see. If you don't like it, you know, get on out of here. Go make some of your own videos, you know. So many people come criticize. They do it on all the channels, especially stuff like this, but they don't even make videos. They just get on and watch ours. They come watch them for whatever and then criticize. And half those people, if you turn around, they look like they're just uh, paste and copying when you go look at their thing. But let's check this out here. This uh, Dr. William, like I said, he's a, he's a doctor, engineer. He's got plenty of degrees. He's a good guy. Always sends me stuff. Like, like I said, there's been some, some shots where we weren't getting much from the rover back then. But it seems like we keep getting closer and closer to a lot of just uh, stuff. And I'm wondering if when all, all this flooded, if everything that came back to the mountain just started going back towards the mountain. And you get all this just junk everywhere. Everywhere. but there's also some stuff down here but let's take a look at this it does kind of look like it's got a separate roof on top of it um, it kind of looks to be built up here's the here see is here's like sand that's kind of built up on it and it has a pretty decent size opening now I've speculated before that the Martians could be either you know this big or you know huge depending on when they were there and if anything's still left there I would imagine because now if you go back we know that there's water and trees there so if you go back and look at my other videos waters and tree you can see them just type go to my page and if you search it you can look for uh, water or tree you're gonna see them I mean it, Look at the stuff with your own eyes, then come back and say if you don't think it is. Um, so we know that there's stuff to drink, you know, and who knows what type of life forms are there or what they need, you know. They could eat something totally different than what we do, you know, or, or, or need totally different nutrients. Who knows what type of life it is, but I thought it was kind of cool. I couldn't get it from any other angle except for the other one. It looks it's pretty dark here, how it's uh, darkened out, but... Looks like it does kind of have like a little roof over top of it. it. Just looks like a little makeshift dwelling or something like that. Now, that uh, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, let's take a look around this little picture here because there's some interesting things just kind of laying around. And up here on the hill, there's a lot of geometric uh, patterns up here in this right here. See how we've got these things kind of boxed out? It almost looks like a foundation, and it's got a uh, a lot more than what just look like simple rocks. See how this is? It's dark there in the middle. It almost looks like you can drop something down in it. Uh, we've got some rocks up here that are interesting. And it just seems really dark. Check this thing out here. I was looking at this and thinking this almost looked like the, the hull of a boat or something that was sunk. And some of it's missing through here now. You know, through the years, whatever. Uh, you know, who knows what could have happened. Uh, this could have just been where it broke off see here to here it looks like they'd fit it almost looks like you could grab this and uh, fit it right up to it let's see if we can edit copy edit paste oh, I forgot that's not gonna work like that I'll do real fast here Ooh, I must have been deleting something huge last time I did this all right let's see what we can do here <laughs> all right 
Ooh, that fits up kind of nicely, actually. All right. See that? See how that fits in there? Actually, pretty nicely. It almost looks like the same thing happened back here, but here, let me just get that out of the way. Could have been, you know. Who knows? Let me see. Delete that layer. All right. Here, you also have some interesting things. Or an interesting rock kind of looks like it's uh, been beveled out, and it looks like it's got some, you know, compartments in it. On the back one, we're going to go look at the back one. Up here, this, like I said, I've got the, uh, I've played with the, the color of this now, but these up here just seem to have some interesting symmetry to them. And as we go down, let's see what we can do here. You know what, I should have stepped backwards the other way. Um, and like I said, this dwell, like I said, this dwelling or whatever, it does look like a dwelling. Call it a dwelling. It does kind of look like a dwelling. It has a little door here. It almost looks like a little guy right here kind of hiding behind it, looking at the rover with his two eyes and his hair peeking out. See that right there, his head? Now, that's just going with my imagination, you know. I've been doing this. My father passed away, so I've been kind of away from this for a little bit. But also down here is interesting, right Right at where the rover uh, is. If you see this, it almost looks like a uh, looks like a goldfish type, <laughs> like a little goldfishy. But see how it looks like it's so smoothed out and how it comes up over top. And there's definitely, there's a... Uh, there's a shadow there um, along with this seems just could be kind of rounded out like these could have been you know pathways at one time and like I, said, I think that Mars most likely had a cataclysm and we're finding out that the Gale crater here most likely had a lot of water in it at one time and uh, came swooshing everything back through and probably towards the mountain so I wouldn't be surprised as we get closer to the mountain if there's a malfunction I've said that before um, you know I'll be waiting for it so let's take a look quick look at this one over here bam that's zoomed in high all right pull it back pull it back actual pixels here we go um, now you get a little bit of the fisheye lens here but you can see how the rover came by it came you know see the path it took up to here um, there's the little dwelling looking thing that's just kind of out there there's what we were looking at there now look over here this thing here kind of looks like maybe some utensils or something kind of laid in there see how different the uh, color is and see how just it stands out like it's almost here let me see if I can turn it some with this there we go it stands out to me it doesn't look like a regular LeBrock it looks like it almost like a, a tuning fork or something like that but I thought that was interesting let me pull that back over go back over here here you can also see in better you know the same detail on that little piece here it does seem to look like it was some sort of a boat or something or you know, that shape is just too perfect to be there it's too symmetric if you cut it right down the center they'd fold up on each other um, and also here look here see how it's actually and you can see this a little better in this picture than the other one there's a, a more, another layer under it so it looks like it actually comes down around here and it's sitting on another layer of it. Yeah. Let's see. These right here look like some of the tracks from the rover, possibly. It looks like the rover did come right up by it and took a good look at this area. Um, as well, it took a, took a look at this rock over here and just came off through this little distance here. So... Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go. Keep that one quick. i got a couple more to do for you now. This is just from the dock. It looks like there's some more square stuff over here, too. Um, some square blocks and things like that. Things that you would expect to be thrown around in ancient ruins of something. So, like I said, guys, it's What's Up in the Sky 37. Much love to Dr. D, Dr. W. Will. His name is Will as well. Um, and like I said, he's out in California. He's got a clinic out there. Dude's awesome. Always sending me good stuff. I guess he's got some time to look. This comes such a habit for people. I've got uh, another friend, Desi. There's so many people sending me stuff. Dude, please do not... Keep sending them, and do not be upset if I haven't gotten to your stuff yet. I promise I will. I always try and respond to everything I possibly can. And more and more, I look at that little pattern right there. It looks like it's not the rover wheel, but something else made that. What's up in the sky, 37 guys? Take it easy. Much love. Tell your loved ones you love them tonight. You never know when you're going to lose them. Peace.